Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about multiple leaving groups and nucleophilic aromatic substitution. Um, and so let's say you have this uh, nitrobenzene and it has on it leaving groups in two positions. I have two chlorines on here. And I want to do a nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction to this. We're going to sodium hydroxide and water. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, wait a, wait a minute, I have two leaving groups. How do I know which one of them is going to react? Maybe they're both going to react. Maybe I'm going to get a different mess of stuff. And so before you start getting yourself uh, too worked over, remember that for, for nucleophilic aromatic substitution reactions, electron withdrawing groups activate that substitution when they are ortho or para to the leaving group. <clears throat> in, in a previous video on this reaction, I shared that this version of the reaction works at like 70 degrees Celsius and the, the meta no, uh, it is like text. Okay, and the the meta version required significantly higher temperatures. Uh, you know, we're talking about much greater than one hundred degrees Celsius. We can actually use this information then to figure out that. Uh, our electron withdrawing group is only going to activate substitution at the position para to it. Or, or if there's a leaving group ortho, it would activate there too. So one of the cool things that we can count on in a synthesis type situation, if we have multiple leaving groups, only those uh, that are ortho or para to the electron withdrawing group are going to be activated uh, for substitution. And we also want to remember that because I haven't included the acidic workup step here, this product is actually deprotonated. And so it requires, it requires neutralization to get uh, H43. Oh, it requires neutralization to get the phenol. Okay. So this video is really short, but I just wanted to, to let you know that nucleophilic aromatic substitution reactions can be controlled when there are multiple leaving groups uh, because leaving groups that are meta to the activating or the electron withdrawing group are significantly less reactive. Thank you for watching.